After their defeat at the airfield, the Green Army has traveled far in order to find themselves an ally in their war against the Tans and Reds. Creed meets with the Blue Commander, Bar, along with his protege, Lucen. Well, Creed, we've got a war of our own. If you plan on having us help you against the Tans and Reds, you're gonna have to join us against the Purples. Normally, I'd say we have enough on our plate, but at the moment, we need all the help we can get. Good, good. You've arrived right on time. We're laying siege to this purple compound here. My buddy Bluesen has a strategy, but we don't have the men or the tanks to pull it off. So, let him explain. Alright Creed, here's the deal. We've got snipers along the damn ridge. We're gonna have them firing into the fortress while we assault. We'll also have our highly capable brand new technologically advanced M24 chaffies going down into the riverbed below. Down here, the purples have small artillery positions. We will blitzkrieg them and wipe them out quickly. Meanwhile, your forces are going to hit the compound from two different sides simultaneously. Once our troops are freed up from taking out the artillery, we will join you above, and the snipers will provide cover fire. But it's gonna have to be a fast battle. Even one misstep and we lose. Fine, you've got my men, but I expect you both on the tan and red front soon after this. You've got yourself a deal, Creed. Now let's blow some stuff up. Alrighty then gamers, welcome back to episode 2 of the Army Men Unifying War, the prequel to Army Men Civil War. And today we have the Green Army attacking the purple compound here to help out the Blues, while the Blues simultaneously hit up the artillery position below in the riverbed. This will be a crazy battle with a lot going on, including blue snipers up here, which I think is going to be so sick to see. Uh, so yeah, if you guys enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and check out episode one that I uploaded last week. I think this will be a really, really fun series, and it's a little bit of a precursor to Army Men Civil War, the book that I plan on releasing this year. All right, let's get into it, boys. What's up, gamers? I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off, as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton so thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to instant gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel Alrighty then boys let's go in slow-mo for the start here and check out the purple defenses we've got aa guns up top on the ramparts here as well as a kb2 which already strikes a sherman out that way those things have crazy armor so it should be able to stay alive for a decent amount of time additionally we got boys on the ramparts over here for the purples firing out at the oncoming greens who are already starting to take a beating here over this way we've got the blues blitzkrieging the purples down below and the purples do have have two of these very heavy mortars over here and I think one shot over this way taking out an M24 Chaffee and then rotated to fire over this way at the other blues coming forward. This is going to be a crazy dynamic battle and I'm super super here for it. These guys need to get in there fast to take these things out because if they continue to fire it could be devastating. These things are capable of basically taking out a tiger tank uh, with the amount of explosives packed into those things. Over here, we've got mass casualties for green squads as more AA guns on these ramparts start to open up, but they're also trying to take out some of these Sherman tanks. Particularly, they're being smart and firing at some of the tracks because AA guns, they can definitely kill the engine, but they have to be really close as well as behind <laughs> the Sherman. Uh, and so their next best option, I would say, especially at range, is to go for the tracks and try and take out the tracks of the Shermans coming forward. I don't know if that's going to happen, but if you could stop the Shermans from coming forward, that would be very nice. Of course, we do have the repair rule in Army Men, uh, so we can always repair it uh, during the battle. Oh my god! A burning Sherman here, and it burns a few plastic boys below as well. Oh my god, is that KV tank still up, man? Oh, I think it might be dead now, but a random rogue green soldier tries to be a hero and run 
dead straight into the fortress there and gets knocked out. Shockingly, these AA guns over here are still alive currently. I am surprised that maybe the snipers aren't even firing at them right now. Actually, a few of the snipers are dead themselves. Those are prime targets for these snipers to take out. I'm not totally sure why they're not doing so, but hopefully soon. More Shermans coming forward too. The KV is in fact down for the count, so that's very, very good to see. Uh, at least we got that going. Oh! The clock tower gets sniped by Sherman fire and is down for the count. Holy cow. In fact, the entire interior of the fort here is starting to take some damage from the outside. Absolutely incredible. And it looks like down here, these purples, the the Chaffees just ran over the purple mortars. They, they didn't even hit them with fire or anything like that. They just straight up ran them over. Uh, and it looks like none of these purples have bazookas to take these things out or anti-tank grenades. So... These guys are just going to chill here. Potentially get run over. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. Oh, the plastic manatee. Oh, he didn't run him over. He stopped just short. <laughs> what a goofy little scenario we've got going on right here. All right, that's pretty funny. The rest of the blue soldiers over here picking up the scraps of their fallen tanks, trying their best to, to get back into gear and maybe start attacking over here along with the uh, rest of the green forces. These AA guns still being alive is devastating. I suppose it's really, really hard to hit these things because they've got this lip in front of them. The greens sort of have to fire up and it's a very small window that they can hit them. Um, and right now, the gun is actually in front of the trooper, so they can't even just snipe out the gunner. They have to full-on take out the cannon right there. So that, that's a little bit harder than I thought. Piot fire going out and uh, attempting to kill a few green soldiers there as well. That is some lethality. The greens have piots and bazookas of their own, so hopefully they can take out some of those uh, pesky purple AA guns. Oh, greens have made it up to the wall here. They attempt a grenade, completely whiff it, and it drops to the floor below. My goodness, what are we doing here, boys? All right, at the very least, these defenses up here have been knocked out. Not before, they absolutely wreaked havoc on the green army over this way and killed so many of those troopers. Holy cow, man. All right, so we're gonna enact the uh, retreat rule. We've got a bunch of purples in really subpar positions over here, so we're gonna we're gonna retreat them further back to better positions where they'll they'll do a little bit better, I think. And that's just a part of this series for a very long time. We have two things: we have the retreat rule, we have this. Well, we have three things: the squad up rule, and then on top of that, we have the repair rule. And let's see if we can enact the repair rule for any of the green tanks. This one is fine. This one can use the repair rule because it's tracked. This one is completely dead, so no repair rule for that. All of these chaffies should be fine down here. Um, this Sherman is totally fine. And this one right here actually could have the repair rule because it is tracked. So we'll go ahead and do that um, as a balancing thing because why wouldn't you repair it? Also, I cannot get more soldiers. We, we do sometimes use the recrew rule as well. We re -re recrew uh, vehicles that are down. However, it's, it's, it's a weird map where I know there are stairs here, but this is like technically blocked off so I can't get soldiers up there. Um, I had to sort of glitch them in the editor to even get them up this way, so I'm not going to be able to recrew those things right there. Uh, but the purples still have tons of bazookas, piots, uh, light arms, stuff like that to hold the interior of the defenses here, and they're already starting to get some serious kills on green soldiers at the entrance way over this way. So I don't think this is anywhere close to being over uh, for the purple soldiers right now. Uh, greens and blues certainly doing a nice job in this assault. Certainly better than the green invasion in the last episode, which had its moments, but in the end just was not able to pull through. Um, I guess that's spoilers, but I feel like if you made it this far into the video and didn't go back to watch the first episode, then it's just... It's not even spoilers, it's just the, the episodes. <laughs> so I don't know what to tell you. Oh, nice. Uh, that must have been a Piot because of the arc. But something hit that Sherman. Bro, what are you doing? You know if you go down there, you're all drowning, right? Are they trying to like cheek out a nice 50 cal angle on these guys back here or something like that? I don't know what they're doing, but it is risky. Bazooka shot to take out a G36 trooper right there. Wowza! And this area is not even close to being assaulted. They are perfectly fine. We've even got purple still up on these ramparts here, just laying down right now. And a Piot soldier who's just been nuking them this whole time. This man is unstoppable. How are the blue snipers doing, by the way? There's a couple of them still alive here, but the rest of them are dead. I'm not sure if they have uh, any more targets they can really kill. They sort of killed the guys who were standing up here, and the rest of them are 
just behind the ramparts out of sight so they're not really able to get those guys i don't think bazooka shells going into a few more of these shermans damaging them we'll give it a little bit before we enact the re uh, repair rule again or the retreat rule but the greens right now are just sort of locked in over here this green and purple is kind of like it's giving mardi gras vibes we just need like a little bit of yellow in there right <laughs> oh man i love army men bro it is the one series that i feel just calls to me it, it really gets my inner child going i i just love it so much watching plastic warriors go on against each other it is such a vibe man an absolute vibe all right let's go into normal speed here as uh, the battle seems to be stalling out a little bit we have tons of assaulters still alive however they're just really taking their time pushing inwards not wanting to overcommit. i think is the problem here they just really don't want to like all charge in at once and just get absolutely obliterated and so the ai is being a little bit i would even say overly cautious right now and it's giving the purples a distinct advantage on the battlefield so yeah that's a toughie right there still not really seeing too many blue soldiers out here of course there's just a fraction of the blue soldiers compared to the green soldiers uh, but they could definitely get up here and help out the greens a good bit uh, eventually i will drag these guys up but for now there's enough soldiers up top here that i don't want to clutter it up for the greens too much and cause mass casualties through interference but eventually these guys are probably never going to come up on their own volition so i'll, I'll have to bring them up uh, if it comes to that if if the greens can take this out on their own right now that's great these guys are getting shelled relentlessly piots can literally be used as mortars and that is showing right here with its true colors i'm not even sure if these tanks are going to be able to get into the fort either so it might be an infantry only assault at this point in time uh, and that is not working out for the greens they started off very bombastically during this battle and now it is not going well at all <laughs> Yeah, at least they wiped out most of the middle purple soldiers, but now they've got these flanks that are still loaded with perps right now. All right, a couple green soldiers, you know, testing their luck here, trying to move in a smidge. They get too cocky and they get gunned down, but at least we've got constant assaulters here. That is certainly better than uh, when things peter out and nothing happens on the battlefield. Oh, those piots, man, they are brutal. Yeah, you see how these guys like aren't coming up? I bet there's the same on the other side. Yep, yes sir indeed. That's just the AI being extraordinarily stupid. Couple green soldiers actually hugging the wall over this way and getting some grenades up and over onto the ramparts, clearing some of those troopers, including that Piat soldier is now dead. That's actually pretty big for them because that Piat soldier was, was an absolute menace. Who just shot that man? Who managed to get that snipe in there? Oh, maybe these guys up here. That, that might've been who it was. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> Wow. Oh, big assault over here for the greens. Oh, that's a good push. That's a good push right there. If you get in here and then don't be a hero. Don't just start slinging bullets left and right. Tactically get out a grenade. Maybe hide behind this van. Get out a grenade and just lob it. Nope. He went in and got shot. Brilliant. Amazing strategy. Absolutely. Oh, that was a big explosion. That might have been an anti-tank grenade or TNT or something like that. That did not have hand grenade explosion looks to it right there. No, sir. All right, should we do the repair rule one more time? This thing never got repaired. This thing can now get repaired. This thing never got repaired. So we'll go ahead and repair those. These are perfectly fine. They just can't really go in. I'm not even sure if repairing those will help them at all or anything along those lines. They might just end up uh, going down there. A couple more soldiers trying to push in over this way. But the purples still have these areas on lock at the moment. It is certainly tough out here certainly tough more explosions rocking over this way green's doing a larger push if they even just take out a few of the purple soldiers in this area they'll set themselves up for victory so much more as long as they don't all die without getting a single kill it's big progress actually and this guy's actually got a good setup just don't move just keep spamming fire down this way because these guys keep getting suppressed if you if you keep firing down here i think you'll get some kills yes see don't move. Just stay there. You've got the angle. They can't shoot you. You can shoot them. This is a godsend angle right here. Oh! The Bazooka Trooper pops out. All right, more greens are down that way. Uh, you can see them firing in. This is this is exactly how you want to do this. This is really, really good stuff right here. They're still losing a couple soldiers, but the strategy does work because they're picking off purples. And of course, there are many more greens and blues still alive right now than purples, so each purple is so much more valuable than every single green and blue on the battlefield right now. 
That is truly, truly what matters. Okay. Whew. Well, let's go ahead and regroup these guys up here because they truly are just kind of glitch down here and, and not doing anything. I'm not just going to yeet them into the fort. I'm just going to get this AI group back on track and, and just send them up this way uh, because otherwise they will just linger down there for the entirety of the battle and do absolutely nothing. And that's just really boring. You know, you got to think about viewer experience sometimes. Uh, and then this pocket of blues is doing the exact same thing, uh, doing pretty much absolutely nothing, which is the that thing um so we'll bring them up here and just plop them at the main entrance and then they can take it from there but sometimes you just got to help out the ai with where they're going we'll bring up the chaffees as well um because why not but i highly doubt they're going to be able to do really anything here just considering the fact that they can't even get shermans in this way so i think tanks are basically useless right now this push here has been nice this has been a very very solid push if they keep it up and keep taking down just little bit by little bit purple soldiers over here, we could be in business, but it is going to be difficult. Okay, those forces have finally reached the top here. Uh, let's see if they actually move in. It looks like they're going to. Okay, very nice. We've got some blues up top here now alongside the greens. Uh, now, everyone knows that, uh, you know, if you've seen my past videos, each nation kind of has their specialities and stuff like that on the battlefield. So the blues tend to be really good strategists as well as they've got pretty decent technology. Um, so they're just sort of like the intelligent group of army men. Uh, the greens, on the other hand, uh, tend to have really, really large populations um, and capable of pretty decent production of vehicles. Uh, the tans uh, are also technologically a bit more advanced than the other nations, not to the blues extent, um, but they have really good production. So they're able to produce vehicles like crazy. The reds, they're just, they're basically like the Spartans of this world where they have incredibly good health accuracy. You know, they're just training their soldiers like crazy to be like God tier soldiers. Um, so that's kind of what they've got going for them. Um, I mean, they're, there's a bunch of like little things over time that we've added to those advantages and disadvantages. Um, but I'd see like the main groups of the blues, the reds, the tans, and the greens have those going for them. Uh, the oranges are like a religious kind of thing. So they, they love crusading and stuff like that. So morale and, uh, you know, just saucing soldiers into war and being able to raise armies and stuff like that uh, through religious zealous and stuff like that is big for them because they, they go on their crusades and things like that. Um, the purples, they are just kind of all-arounders. They have good guns um, was one of the advantages during Army Men Civil War, but since this is a prequel, maybe that gun production hasn't really started yet. But uh, I just overall, they've just kind of been a good all-arounder. Um, they're kind of good at a little bit of everything. Uh, on top of that, uh, the greys too, I believe, were, were the same, but I'd have to go back and research what the greys were because they're not even in the unifying war yet. <laughs> so there is that going on. Either way, the purples and the blues, or sorry, the greens and the blues have made some progress over here. They've gotten some more kills. There's still a lot of purple holdouts all throughout the fort though right now. And it's just painstaking. It's literally going inch by inch for the greens and blues over here and clearing out the enemy uh, soldiers right now. They, they've got decent troop count still. They've got all these guys over here who just like haven't really wanted to go in yet. Um, and then they've got decent soldiers over here too. Yikes. Because they've got all these blues here who just aren't going forward <laughs> at all. Uh, so that's fun, you know? All right, they're taking over the right side first, it seems. Honestly, just, you're in this house. You're within gra grenade range of those purples. I guess it's easy for me to see because I'm looking at an overhead view, but you could literally just grenade right here from inside the safety of this house and get those kills. Same goes for the purples. They could just sauce a grenade up into here and all these guys would be absolutely screwed. Uh, but for the AI to actually figure that out is a whole different story. The soldiers would need to realize that uh, and actually execute that plan, which is easier said for me than done for them. So that can be a little bit problematic right there. That's for sure. Are these guys like glitch back here? Why won't they come? They're trying to come forward, but this tank is blocking their path somehow as if there isn't this whole road for them to go down. There you go. All right, guys, go, go. What? How did the tank? Okay, whatever. As long as the soldiers are moving forward, that's it's whatever okay they're just all being goofy do we want to retreat any purples is the question um i do notice these guys in this house here it's a really bad position 
They could easily get knocked out. So I'm gonna ooh, go, go, go. Yeah, move them right here. That's a much better position for them. These troops over here are all in good positions. This guy's actually in a solid position right there. These guys are in good positions. They might die, but they're going to take a couple troops with them before they go. So I think the rest of the purples are okay. I, I don't think I'm going to retreat any of the other purples except for those guys in the house that we did. Uh, this guy right here, popping up with the M1 Garand, takes out a few troops before he finally gets popped by the blue soldiers right there. So that certainly was not bad at all. Blue's finally starting to really get involved in this battlefield, which is nice to see. That is for sure. Oh my god, more explosions as more of the fort here ends up getting taken down. <laughs> my goodness. My goodness. Oh, yeah, it is a slaughter fest over on this side, man. It's such a shame that these tanks can't make it in because the KV is such a heavy tank that shoving it aside uh, really isn't going to be an option, I don't think. That makes things very, very difficult for the blues and the greens here. These troops trying to move in here. They're just getting cut off by defenders. Defenders advantage in the army men mod is crazy because it is a realism mod. So it really only takes one or two shots to end up killing each soldier, which makes defenders advantage so much greater. It makes it so intense. Uh, and that is clearly a problem right here. Um, once you get tucked into the middle, if this tank makes it through, if it, it might be making the play. Oh my God, if this tank makes it through, come on, go, 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 no, no, keep going straight. Push that aside, push that aside. What are you doing? Oh my God, that is such a shame. Try and shove it aside, it might be too heavy to, but you could try, you could just get the angle on those troops, man. What a shame. What a shame. All right, a few more blues trying over this way. It's getting dicey. <sighs> Why don't we time lapse a little bit here because we are winding things down and I think it's going to be just the blues sending troops in bit by bit here. All right, well, we seem to be at stalemate, uh area right now with nothing crazy happening really this guy's just eternally peeking the corner here <laughs> wow. whoa 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 there you just got that man killed didn't you wow all right so what we're gonna do this is this is hell mary time we're gonna evac all of the uh tank crewmen because that'll that'll give us like an extra like i don't know 40 soldiers or something like that and, uh, you know, they're not doing anything in these tanks anyway, so we might as well do that. We'll bring forward all the remaining troops uh, from here. Heck, we can even bring up the, the remaining snipers, baby. Get the snipers up here, too. Um, and put them all on free move mode. Beautiful. And this is basically last hoorah kind of kind of a deal here. We'll go ahead and, and also, uh, you know, get all these guys squatted up too so that way they work together a little bit more and stuff like that uh, instead of just dying so that's pretty much it for the greens and blues it would be a really atrocious start to the war if the greens and blues uh, both lose well the greens losing two battles in a row and then the blues losing their first battle that that would probably result in a green defense in the next battle uh, I think I think we would be at the point where the greens start getting assaulted uh, by their multitude of enemies now um, because losing two battles in a row is quite bad and would definitely set you back. So if the tank crewmen are unable to dislodge the maybe 20 or so remaining purples here, then it's basically Jover for them. Uh, more destruction on the battlefield here. This is such a cool map because there's so much destruction going on, so many destructible buildings and stuff like that. It's kind of crazy. Um, oh my god, the greens and blues are trying to make some plays happen here. And they're just getting toasted, man. They truly are just getting toasted. It, it is brutal. Alright, let's go ahead and get another time lapse going, I suppose. Okay, well, 
greens are st are still doing this little ticky tacky offense here. There's still a purple up here. What the heck? Uh, they're they're kind of getting nowhere. We'll go ahead and squad up the last of them and send them down mid. See what they can do. Well, he got obliterated. These guys are walking out of the base. I think they're just trying to regroup though. You have piots? Why aren't you mortaring? Oh my god, this battle's been going on for half an hour now. And the greens and blues really botched this, man. They did so well at the start. I thought they were going for the clean sweep, honestly. <laughs> and then, disaster struck. So in the unifying war, the greens now are going to be down 0-2. A little pee out fire there, but they're getting grenaded. Okay, that guy's gonna die. No, he didn't! Oh, very impress- Oh, <laughs> man, just got blasted through the window. Woo wee! Yeah, uh, I mean, this this was a bad battle, bro. I mean, they started so well. They took almost no losses down here. Uh, yellow are the purples, reds are the green and blues. Um, took almost no losses here. Did amazing, and then uh, they did pretty decent on the exterior defenses. I will say. I mean, like, they wiped these guys and these guys pretty quick. And then when it came to the interior in the second half of the battle. They just got curb stomped. Like this, this was bad in the second half. We're going fast speed here. We got four more uh, green soldiers. No blues left alive. They're going for this trooper up here. Um, I mean, just absolutely bonkers. Oh, that man is dead. He has a wall through his body now. Okay, <laughs> alrighty then. Well, I mean, they're making some progress here, I guess. That's a Piot firing at them, but it's just destroying more of his own wall than anything. Oh my goodness. Oh my good. I mean, this is this is disaster. <laughs> I need you guys to let me know in the comment section or on the Discord if you want. You can ping me on the Discord in, in uh, video ideas and suggestions. Um, what what? Where do we go from here after this double green defeat? Plus, they wrapped the blues into things and didn't even manage to take the castle that they were sieging. Absolutely absurd. This bazooka trooper is just going ham right now. Just going absolutely ham on, on three green soldiers who are just vibing. Oh, that guy almost got shot. Oh, are they gonna, are they gonna make a move? They're making a little bit of a move. Okay, well, we'll let them do their thing. Sure. The last three greens for sure are gonna make this happen and get the W. Oh, they killed a flamer over there. Nice, I don't think we saw any flamers actually use their flame packs, so that's cool. Oh, 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 yeah, that was an instant death right there. That was really, really stupid right there. <laughs> now he's bleeding out in the sand. Oh, God. <laughs> he's painting the sand red. All right, well, it despawned, so that's that's what it is. Um, There's two guys. The fact that the tanks couldn't make it in here is crazy. Oh, 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 we're gonna do a push, and he gets blasted, and this guy gets grenaded, and that's it. The purples end up with not a not a dominant victory, but they did freaking do it, baby. I mean, they've got an entire, they've got 12 soldiers left alive. Many of them with really, really high veterancy. Like, this guy's got 37 kills, that's, that's insane. This guy's got six, this guy's got one, four, three, none, I mean, the purples managed to get the W here, and the uh, greens and blues completely end up looking washed. Wow! And it went so well at the start. The strategy worked really well at the start, and then once they got to the interior, it was Jover. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think should happen in episode 3 of the Unifying War. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace! I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.